now listening to Off The Tools with the one and only Wayne Bettis. If you're passionate and driven and focused in what you do, people will take notice. You, you, you can achieve anything you want to achieve in life. The excuses are not valid. Hello, welcome to the next collaboration between Off The Tools and Trade Tech. Welcome, Etan. Welcome back. How are you doing? Hi, mate. Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, super excited to have you back on. Um, Thanks, and in today's session, it's going to go a little bit deeper. So anyone that watched the previous session, it was on how to use Zapier, 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 whichever way you want to go. Um, and today, Etan is going to go basically to the next level. Would you class this as, as, as intermediate? Or... I would class this, yeah, as, as a course kind of intermediate, a bit lower intermediate. I would say that there's like, you would have like beginner, which is what we did last time. And if you haven't seen that, then definitely check that out because uh, I'm not going to be doing some of that really basic stuff in this one, like adding connections and things. Um, and then you've got kind of where we're at now, which is, uh, I would say, getting into intermediate where you've got multiple steps in your apps. Um, and then you, you you go to kind of a bit more advanced where you've got sort of paths and filters and stuff. And then there's the really, 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 really top level um, of like coding and things like that. But I don't think that's, that's necessary. So yeah, this would be an intermediate session. Uh, and today we're going to be creating some multi-step automation so that you can achieve more stuff um, within one kind of zap. And, and that's what we're going to be looking at. Excellent, excellent. So a quick caveat, I would suggest then that anybody that has never touched Zapier, I know they're watching this, they should stop and go and watch let watch the first episode, which I'm going to put a link to in the in the comments just so people can jump to that one as a first port of call. This should be the second video that you watch, just so you're clear. Absolutely, yeah. If you've never used uh, Zapier before, Zapier before, definitely head down, check out the first one. Um so you can just cover the basics and what we're going to be doing today is uh, we did another poll uh, just to see what people wanted to learn um, and the top two results that came back in that poll were to uh, firstly how to automate google my business to interact with linkedin uh, your linkedin page um, or your facebook page it can be either or um, and then how to reply automatically to that google review uh, and secondly how to send out a handwritten thank you note to customers that spend loads and loads of money um, because we want to say thank you and we want to keep we, they, we want them to keep you front of mind so those are the two things i'm going to be doing today uh, the first one the google my business one is a little bit easier the second one has a few more filters and things in it um, and if you do have any questions please just post them in the comments. I'm always here to, to answer any questions as, as everyone knows. Um, or if you want to message me directly, that's cool as well, as long as it's not on a Saturday night. Okay. <laughs> and, <laughs> and also, um, Etan's got his own group that is specifically around technology in the trades business. It's called Trades Tech. Um, so I'll put the link to that so people can join that as well. Obviously, this is going out in off the tools as well. So you're more than welcome to ask questions in there. But yeah. Just, yeah, thought I'd just give a little plug to that just so um, Etan can, you, it, it's a bit more concentrated on the technology side of things, isn't it, that group? That's right. Yeah. So so over the next 12 months, I'm going to be releasing um, some extra stuff that's not related to Zapier, but very, very much related to tech. Um, it will be going out in trade tech and in off the tools as well. Um, and it is, we're going to cover loads of stuff, um, loads and loads of stuff. So just keep an eye out for that. Um, but yeah, let's let's crack on. Um, I'm gonna. Can I share my screen, Wayne? Am I able? Yes, it should all, all be sorted out for you. Lovely. Make sure I'm just make sure I haven't got anything open. That I shouldn't. Right, yeah. <laughs> Good. Let's go. All right. Um, okay, so I'm actually going to build these live. Um, I'm I'm not going to use a, a a test account because I wanna I wanna leverage automations in my own business um, today. So. That's, That's proper leverage. You're leveraging time as well as the automation. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> so I've decided that I'm going to build these in my business. Um, and it's great because you can I can actually show you them in, in real life and in action. Uh, so, so the first of this automation that we're going to build, um, as you know, this is your main Zapier screen uh, where you can see all your zaps. I've got loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of folders. Um, but I have a... a, a 
a, a sandbox that I usually build things in and then I move them over to the folders and I've created a folder just for just for our webinars and um, just so I've got a clean slate to start with. Uh, now this <clears throat> this assumes that you have a Google My Business account, um, a LinkedIn account, um, and, and that's all you need to build this one. I might even put in a cheeky post to Facebook page step as well uh, for those that are interested in that um, because it's really, really easy. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to create a new zap by clicking here. Uh, and also this assumes that you've, you've had a review and that you want to post your reviews. If you're crap, don't bother because it's probably not going to be good for your business. So, uh, so I'm just going to search for Google. And, and as you see here, um, when I search for Google, we've got everything. Uh, we've got Google Sheets, which is a major one. We'll be covering that next time. Google Calendar, Google Drive, Google Forms. We're going to be covering that next time as well. Um, and we've got all the different Google stuff down here. Um, but we're going to choose Google My Business just for this one. Uh, we've covered how to connect accounts in, in the previous um, in the in the previous automation uh, webinar, so I'm not going to bother with that. Um, but we're going to just trigger this when a new review is added. And and as discussed before, Zapier works on triggers and actions. If this happens, then do that. Um, that's how it all works. And you've got multiple steps in between where you can add kind of bits and bobs and extra steps. So this one's going to trigger when a new review is submitted. Just just so I'm aware, I didn't know you could do this. So I'm fascinated. I'm, al I'm already well happy and like, wow, I've wasted like <laughs> loads of reviews that could have been posted automatically and stuff. So I, as a rule of thumb, I think that you can do anything. I mean, I don't think as long as you've got the like the knowledge there and as and, and as long as you can think your way around things and think outside of the box you can pretty much automate anything in your business um so i'm just going to choose my google my business account i've got two uh google my business locations i've got elite heating and plumbing and i've got help me fix uh, we're going to use elite for this one so these are my two locations we're going to choose elite heating and plumbing and so I've just made this connection now between Google My Business and Zapier, and I'm just going to test my trigger. Um, and it's pulled in a review. Uh, and it says I've got five stars, and this is from Mr. Michael Wheatley. So, Mr. Wheatley, thank you very much. Thank for... God that was a good one. That could have looked very bad, couldn't it? <laughs> yeah, so Etan's a criminal. He took all my money. But now Mr. Wheatley is very happy. Um, and he selected us despite being the most costly, which I really love. I love it when I get I love that. That's such a pat yeah. on the back, isn't it? I love it. Is, it. Yeah. yeah. Despite being the most expensive, I'm really glad I chose them because um, we are extortionate. Right. So, <laughs> so basically what that trigger's done is, sorry, let me just, just gone over this. That has pulled in all of the data from that review. Um, we, and I mean, more data than you would imagine actually exists. So we've got, um, we've got here the, the display name, the star rating. So we can only post reviews if the star rating is five and that would be nice wouldn't it so we're going to add that filter in afterwards so that all of the rubbish ones if you do get rubbish ones we don't share and we don't post um and, and that's that that gives you that control over it okay because okay. because otherwise you're out of control so so let's do that we're going to add that filter in so that's going to make this slightly more advanced this app but i know that people are going to want to only want to post the good ones um the creation time the comment um and uh, essentially you know, all of the kind of ID and data information that we need. So let's continue with that. Uh, and let's, we're gonna add a filter now. So this is the first filter that I've ever shown. Um, filters are used to stop automations if a certain condition is not met, okay? And when you open up your action step, you've got the inbuilt Zapier ones here. Uh, and today we're just gonna use filter. We use delay in our previous Zap. Um, but today we're going to use this one here, uh, and we're going to we're going to add a filter step. So this is only continue if if a field equals a certain thing or doesn't equal a certain thing. So we're just going to choose only continue if the number rating. Love that. Exactly matches. Five. Okay, very, very simple. 
we're only continuing if the number rating exactly matches five. Or we could say only if it's greater than four. Yeah. Than four. And I think that's a nice one, okay? Because, you know, that, that, that will catch most of your reviews. And it would have continued. So that now, if I have, if if our, if I had then had a two-step review, it would have stopped the automation process. There would have been, and nothing would have happened. So that's a really, really handy step there. So just just to throw a curveball here, I, yeah. I suppose most people are going to be on top of a, a bad review anyway. But in essence, you could create something like this to notify you that that you've received a bad review, and to action something or or as well Absolutely. You? so you Absolutely. don't ever miss it like yeah so you could say that if the number rating is less than three let's say um it could send an sms via twilio to you to let you know you've had a bad review yeah. or it could automatically reply to the customer saying really really sorry uh that we missed the mark we we're investigating and we'll keep you updated yeah. um, and that way you're keeping on top of everything all right so so we're, we're basically automating your feedback here um all right so so let's let's go to the next stage so Okay, we have a Facebook page and we have a LinkedIn page. So I'm going to do both uh, for those of you that don't use LinkedIn. I know a lot of people don't use LinkedIn. So we'll do, we'll start with Facebook page um, because most of you will have a Facebook page. Uh, so we're going to create a new post. And we are going to, mm, I don't know which one this is. So I'm just going to connect a new one. And we're only going to connect Elite Heating and Plumbing here. Okay. We are going to say, check out our new, and this is where we're going to get really cool. We're going to enter the field, the number rating. So essentially, if that's four, it's going to say, check out our new four star uh, review from Michael J. Wheatley. And then we've got all this stuff here. So we're just going to look at the, con the, the comment one here. That's the most important one. Uh, and we should have I think this is going to be our link um, here so we'll check it out once we post it but I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to look so let's test it good <laughs> Always happens. All right, so we'll take out this URL. Yeah, that weren't a URL, I don't think. Um, no. Yeah, we'll have to. I think there was one in there, though. I think we could. Was there? It. Yeah, go, okay. go, go back. I'm sure yeah. I saw something that looked like it. Let's um, have a look. So scroll down. Where did I see it? ID. Would it be the ID? I don't think so. I think that's Google's internal ID. Um, oh, okay. I'm pretty sure, yeah. All right, so we'll leave that out for now. It doesn't really matter anyway. But you could just put a link to your main Google My Business link, couldn't you? So it's generic you link. You could indeed. You could, and that's a really good idea. Yeah. Um, all right, so let's look at... Hello... And behold, here it is. There we go. Simple Check out our new five-star review. And you know, you can you can add your own text at the bottom, right? So if you wanted to put like, um, you know, if if you if you'd like to see the why elite best thing since sliced bread, um. Go to our website, blah, 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 www.elite. Here is a link to our videos. And you can do it every single time and it will automatically post, okay? Um, so that's that. So now we're just going to, we're going to, 
push it through exactly using exactly the same uh, same kind of step. We're going to punch it through to the LinkedIn. And now I use LinkedIn really heavily uh, because I'm primarily business to business. So um, essentially, for those of you who don't use LinkedIn, don't worry about this bit. Um, but I, I, I rely on it really heavily. So I'm just going to share a company update here, create a company update. And I'm going to connect to my LinkedIn account. And I've got my elite company page. Uh, I've got a couple of them. Um, but we're going to use the elite one here. Uh, and I'm just literally going to copy. I'm just going to copy, exactly, copy paste. Exactly, exactly the same, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and we can use an image here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an image from my website. Uh, but you have to just put a link to an external image. So here's me without the beard, which isn't great, but you know, <laughs> is what it is, I guess. Um, so I'm just going to take take this. You do know it's a, quick, a quicker way to do that. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just right, right click the image and copy. There should yeah. no, normally there's copy, copy image. Yeah, you can't. My site's built in pack, so you can't do it. But I'll, I'll check oh, that. okay. Sorry. Um, so that's my image. Um, and we put visit elite heating and plumbing. Continue. Preview URL cannot be blank. Okay. Da, 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 da. Preview URL. It's the one up. Ah. So when they click, I want them to go to my website. I want them to go to my business website. So I'm going to copy my business website URL. Okay. There we go. There we go. I I wait with bated breath for something to break every time I press the test button. <laughs> um, been pretty lucky today so far. Uh, and then if we look at um, my page, Elite Heating and Plumbing. And for those of you that want to know more about LinkedIn, I'll be covering LinkedIn and Trade Tech later on in the year. Um, and here we go. Check out our new five-star review. Excellent. Visit Elite Hello. Heating and Plumbing, takes you straight to the website, all done. Okay, lovely jubbly. Right, so that's that. And then what we want to do is, because we're so grateful, we want to say thank you um, to, to Mr. Wheatley. So just to recap, that's the reviews landed automatically it's gone to Facebook and LinkedIn and now we're going to do more than that as well. Yeah, we're just going to say, yeah, from this one automation, we're going to say thank you. Um, now I've already replied to Mr. Wheatley, so I'm not, I'm not going to press the test button because then everyone's going to think I'm weird. But what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to build it for you so you can see it. And then I'm just going to switch this on. Um, so let's, let's, so, so now we're doing an action again uh, and let's do, Google My Business. And this is really simple because there's only one action uh, is to reply. <laughs> um, Did you read that a little bit? Creates a reply for a specified review or updates the reply if one already exists. Yeah. Okay, so we can use it. We can test it. Let's update um, reply. So it wants the review name. This is all really, really simple. Um, here we go, review name, review name. So we're just gonna use that. Um, so, okay, so here's the trick, right? You don't wanna over process it. You don't want it to look fake. So we're not gonna use the full name of the, of the reviewer. Um, we're just gonna say, thank you so much for your Fantastic for your 
star review. How can you hit the mark? Now, you may want to do this. I'm going to tell you the drawbacks of doing this. The drawbacks of doing this, this is that every time you get a review, it's going to post exactly the same reply. So it's going to look automated, pardon me, <coughs> after a while. Um, however, if you, wanted to, if you want to do it, it's here for you to do. So I'm going to test. OK, and it's done. Let's have a look. I'm just going to stop sharing because I'm just going to go into my Google My Business account. Um, I just want to make sure that I'm on the right in the right place. I love this stuff. Yeah. You know, yeah. making like this little bit of hard work. What's this taken so far? Uh, so this is taking 15 about minutes. 15 minutes, yeah. And and it's going to do a job now for the next five to ten years, isn't it? Exactly. <laughs> in essence, like just this is going to do its thing. It's going to create content for you. Um, share your message and, and uh, share, share your company. Yeah, it's fantastic. Love it. Exactly that. Um, and, and that's what I do. So that's why I'm, I can sit here and I've got time to talk crap with you all day because I try and automate everything in, that we've got in the business. Yeah. So <clears throat> looking here, here's Mr. Wheatley. There's the response. Thank you so much for your five star review. Glad we hit the mark. So we have just completely automated the, your your reviews process from Google My Business. So let's switch this on. I think this is a good one. And I'm going to share this app. Um, Are you going to share it for us as well? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I'm going to share it. So you can just basically copy it. Thank you. Uh, Wayne, how do you want me to get these to you? Try just, uh, just, just what WhatsApp them to me and I'll make sure I stick them um, in the comments like I did on the last one. <clears throat> we'll do. Okay, so this is... Um, Great. Facebook. I'm guessing obviously it's all editable, so if someone wants to change the text and stuff, they still can, can't they? It's yeah, just they can they can change up. it. It's just it's just the basic thing. It's just so that you don't have to start from scratch. But I would encourage you to start from scratch because by building it, you learn how to do it and then you yeah, can yeah. apply it to different things. Okay. My business review. Done. Right, and for our second one today, we're only going to do two, but for our second one, we're going to we're going to send a customer a thank you card um, when a job completes in service mate with a value of over two thousand um, pounds. Now this is great for boiler replacements. I used to do it. We're going to put a few conditions in here as well. So as well as it being over two grand, we, we don't want to send it to business customers because they just keep getting the card and then they throw it in the bin. And I had that last year when I first set it up. So I'm going to reset it up today with a filter that it only goes out to private domestic customers. And we're going to do that using job categories. Um, if you don't already use job categories in ServiceMate, I suggest, and you use ServiceMate, I heavily, I would strongly recommend that you start using job categories. Um, and job templates are assigned to those categories because you can achieve so much more. It's gonna help your reporting. Um, it's gonna help you be able to see, you know, where gaps are in the business and it's gonna help you automate. Uh, so let's do that now. I had to completely redo everything when I found out Zapier, you needed them categories, didn't you? For, for it to, Yeah, so I had to sort of like redo all my structure and service mate to be able to then leverage it. Exactly, let me just show you very quickly um, how we use this isn't really what this is about but for those of you that use service mate you might find this handy uh so just in my dispatch board i'm just going to just have a quick peek i don't really go in there that much but um so here on the left are my job templates um, and all of these job templates are attached to job categories uh, and i have ones for agency as you can see here, and I have ones for homeowner. And the reason is that with agents, they don't want all the frills and crap, and they don't want to know about service plans. They don't want to be signed up to mailing lists. They don't want any of that. Um, however, homeowners, we want stuff to happen. And each of these categories lead to a tag in my CRM. So I can specifically target homeowners that want power, that have had a power flush or that have had uh, um, 
an unvented cylinder installation or a boiler swap or whatever, whatever, whatever. So anyway, so I've got lots and lots and lots of categories. So, and by the way, you can do this. You don't have to use service mate. It's exactly the same if you, if you want to do it, if you want to use zero as the trigger. Um, if you do your invoicing in zero, you can use zero. If you use QuickBooks, you can use QuickBooks. It doesn't matter. Um, but I'm going to use service mate because I want that kind of, I want that filter of the job category. So our trigger is going to be when a job's completed. And again, if you don't know how to connect accounts, go into the first uh, webinar that we did and you'll be able to see how to connect your service mate account. Uh, and we're not, we're not going to assign a specific category because I don't want this just to be for boiler changes. I want it to be for all big jobs. So like bathroom replacements, um, you know, central heating fit, uh, fit outs, anything like that. So we're just going to just put when any job completes and let's test it. Takes a while, there's a lot of jobs. Twiddle in fun time. There we go. Hey. Oh, it's wicked. So, yeah, thank God. So this is a job, um, and this is a homeowner job. That's really handy because I'm gonna I'm gonna use the category. Um, and we've got everything here. We've got the job address. We've got the billing address. Um, we're going to do some really clever, clever stuff with addresses in a minute because um, you're all going to worry about how you're all going to wonder how I'm going to pull the address out. And we've got all the details here as well. Um, so let's just continue. And we're going to use filter. So we're going to filter it. And we want to filter only for homeowners. So I'm going to use job categories here. And all of my job categories have either an HM for homeowners or AG for agents. Now, a lot of you won't have this, but for those of you that do differentiate, we're going to only continue with this if the job category contains HM. It would have continued. That's fantastic. Uh, and then we're only going to continue and, so we've got an and here. So this means you can put multiple conditions inside the same filter and and why is that important because it reduces the amount of tasks zapier builds on the amount of tasks that we use um, and this will be classed as one task so i use about twenty thousand tasks a month but for those of you that want to keep your tasks down i'm on like the super duper nutcase plan but for those of you that want to keep the, um, keep the cost down do it like this um and we want to <clears throat> We want, let's have a look. I think we can do this. Let me just watch. <laughs> yeah, there, there was price. You went past it. Was there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slow down on the scroll. It was at the top end. All right. There. It total uh, invoice yeah. amount. Total invoice amount is... greater than 2000 your zap would not have continued now if i change that to 80 your zap would have continued so i'm basically putting a barrier in there for price yeah. so i'm going to change that back to 2000 we know it wouldn't have continued, but it doesn't matter. We can continue with what we're doing. And we're, there's lots of these, um, these apps available. Now, there's a couple. There's Thankster, uh, there's Handwritten, there's Felt. Um, but we're going to use Handwritten for this one because I have an account. Um, and, but you choose your own. As long as it integrates with Zapier, you can use it. So Handwritten. Let's have a little talk about Handwritten. Handwritten is a very cool site that spits out handwritten uh, thank you cards or any kind of card. Um, and you can look at, let's have a look. 
you can choose whichever kind of card you like and you can choose whichever kind of writing you like as well which is really cool and there's lots and lots of different writing and we'll, i'll show you those in a second as, as we go through the automation so we're going to send the card and more often than not these come from the states so um yeah just send it as soon as the job completes because it takes about three weeks to get there um but just so, just so that you know <clears throat> uh, so the sender's name is going to be i would really personalize this if you're the face of your business do it from you um, i always do everything from me Uh, you don't have to give this, um, but you can. Why well, no, you do have to do this? One sec. I'm doing this from scratch, so I expect a couple of mistakes, all right? Well, we've got enough time. I think. Um, okay. uh, and this is going to go out to old. We're going to use the uh, the job contact here because we want to separate out the first and last name. And yeah. um, obviously the client name is just uh, the full name. So let's use the first name and the last name. Now, this is where it gets a bit complicated because ServiceMate doesn't split down the address into line items. So as you can see, the address is just flat one, fellows close, WD25, da, da, da. So we're going to use something called geotagging. Um, and we're going to use the geotag attached to the address. So how service mate knows where that address is. So you're going to start typing geo into here. Okay. Um, ah. uh -huh. So we're going to do the geo number and then the geo street. And then... We're going to do the Geo City. Didn't do that right. And we're going to do Geo Country. And this is really cool. The geo stuff is really cool. Um, you can do lots of stuff with it. Um, you can do like, <laughs> you can do uh, loads and loads of stuff with it. We'll go over it another time. Um, I'll do I'll do a separate webinar about how to how to do automations based on geolocation. Uh, we've got England here, but let's just put in United Kingdom. There guys, there. Oh. And then the geo postcode. It'll only get the first half of the postcode, um, but it will get there. Oh no, here we go. We've got the full postcode there. Sometimes it depends on how service mate understands it. So we've overcome that little barrier there using geotagging. Uh, and you can choose the card that we want, um, and we can find those here. Uh, for business, yeah, that's a bit, a bit cold, isn't it? Let's use, I'm so glad you were born. Let's try this one, script, thank you. There we go. This is where it gets really funky, okay? Because you can match your writing style to the style of the card. What this does is this company physically gets a biro pen in a machine and writes the card with the biro pen. I mean, like, serious? Yeah, swear down, it comes in real biro. 
um, or paintings, <laughs> you choose. Fucking unbelievable. I've seen them myself, and they are wow. crazy. Wow. Um, so if, if you're into this kind of stuff, this is a very – and look, this is the handwriting style. So you've got Carefree Kate, seriously, ADHD handwriting. Um, this is this is quite nice. Casual David, Charming Chase, love it. I and love I quite this. like – I quite like this. This one's quite cool. It looks a bit messy. Um, it looks like a busy business owner. So I'm going to use Chill Charity for my cards. This is, I love this. This is brilliant. <laughs> so we're going to put, dear, let's pull in, dear Mike. Thank you so much. Choosing to carry out work. Um, is that you? Service. Um, the best. You would be, so this goes a long way. Because what happens is when they book you, they forget about you after the work's done. If you, if just for a five quid card, if it drops through the door three minutes, three weeks later, they're gonna be like, oh my God, like, did you see we got a card from, from Wayne? Like, he's just so nice. And then when they have something break next time, they will definitely, definitely use you again. Yeah, I, I, I strongly, I've, I've not used this sort of thing, but I've done things called Surprise and Delight where I send out like moon pig, um, not cards, but like presents to say yes. thank you. Um, and it goes down so well. So a, a handwritten card will, will have that same effect, definitely. So we've got Amazon gift card here. Are you loving that? So you can add a gift card. I'm too tight, but if you want to. <laughs> what about for jobs over, over, over five grand? Give them an Amazon voucher. Price it into the job. Price it in for 50 quid. Like, they're giving you £5,000. Like, you know, at the end of the day, it's a, it's, it's a bit of a no-brainer. I use the gift card thing for employees. If an employee hits a certain number, they get a gift card. Yeah. Uh, it goes a long way. So this is just my billing information. I'm actually going to send this dude a card um, for his tap replacement. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be well impressed. What would be fantastic if, if he um, rings you up and goes, do you know what? I'm going to get a new boiler now because... Of... <laughs> right, yeah. All right, so we did it. We just sent a card. Um, you'll just have to take my word for it that it went through, I think. Um, potentially, let's see. In essence, it should go into the account, shouldn't it? Yeah, there, there we there. are. Dear Mike, thank you so much for choosing Elite to carry out the works of your home. I hope you're happy with the service. Uh, and yeah, it's all there. Fantastic. All right, so that's how to do it. Um, I'm going to switch this one on. Loving uh, that. Call this uh, send handwritten. See, now, if, if, if you're like me, anyone listening to this and watching this, your mind, my mind is now running away because now I'm like in Zapier mode and I'm thinking, right, what can I build next now? What can I build next? <laughs> it's like a drug, I isn't it? One, I got like my inbox just went like that where people were kind of trying to build stuff inspired because then you're like, oh, what can I build? If I can do that, then I can do this. Yeah. Um, you know, we've over, over 3,000 now applications that are connected in, in, in Zapier. Um, the, 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 the choices are endless. So there we go. Uh, that is the second installation. I'm going to share the zaps uh, with Wayne. We'll post them in the group um, and we'll do another one um, well, shortly in a couple of weeks with, with an advanced kind of paths and filters and things like that. Yeah. Any question, please feel free to post them in off the tools um, and uh, yeah, I'll try to answer you as as, as as well as I can. Like I say, I, I am just a trade business owner. I'm not a programmer. Um, but, you know, I'll, I'll try and help you as much as I can. All right. Thanks very much. Lovely. Thank you, Etan. I hope everyone enjoyed that and I can't wait for the uh, the next one. So see you all soon, guys. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Bye.